Hi guys, Tom Shu here, and today I want to show you guys how to customize the interface of Lightroom 5 to make it your own piece of software. You know, it's a pretty strong piece to have a customer or clients walk into your studio and see you working with your own personally branded software. And that's why Adobe did this. They allowed you to change the software to make it your own. In order to do that, you come over to the edit and you choose identity plate setup. Okay, now Lightroom does support two different types of customization where you can type in your name if you like uh, and use text with various text options, or you can use a graphical inner a graphical identity plate. So if we click this, you can see that it says you can drag an image on the spot or you can locate a file, and we're going to enable this option right off the bat so we're going to enable it and you notice that when we enable it it takes that logo right off the top because not searching for whatever files located here so we we'll click locate the file and I've made some digital signatures and it supports PNG and PNG means that if you have a transparent background it will display it as such now inside of uh, my Windows Explorer it shows my PNG files as having a white background However, I know this was created with a transparent background. So the browsing system inside Windows doesn't support that transparency. So if I select this file, you can see that it places it right there on the interface. Now I can also change the text options. Let's go ahead and change it to one that I kind of like. Bear with me here. I got a lot of fonts. Let's see here. I know which one it is it is this one here okay I like this one and you can also change the colors so the selected file or the selected module this is called the module picker say I want to create like this yellow one but I don't want it to be so yellow maybe I'll come down to here and we click OK and now when those modules are selected it's going to be kind of that yellowish color and then maybe I like to have this blue but a little duller of a blue, maybe something like this. And we click OK. Now the rest of the modules are in a blue color. I'm not saying that's what I'll end up with, but I just wanted to show you how that works. So we'll click OK here. Now there is something different in Lightroom 5, which are the in panel marks. If you come down here underneath comments and you right click, it says panel in mark. You notice that all of the other options are gone where they uh, used to have these different graphics that were available now they only have small flourish now you can see that little flourish there however it does support that same branding of any type of um, marks that you'd like to use let's go ahead and open this folder up try to get it on screen here it's not allowing me to show you that but I have created a folder and this inside the panel marks you can put in any PNG file you want now these are all uh, transparent backgrounds okay and you see that if we open this one I'll open it with fireworks you can see that again that it is transparent background it's got the little checkerboards in the background I'm gonna go ahead and close that for now and if we choose one of those PNGs it will this is the, the just like the one I had before but smaller it will apply it there. Now you have a fully branded piece of software that you can use in your studio that might wow your customers. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's a nice little touch that Adobe allows us to do that. And so that's it. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. And until next time, we'll see you soon.